What's going on guys? Jamie Macon, I am the husband, and if you're new to Chalker Tour, or if you're just picking it up and want to see how it works, this video is for you. So we have met a lot of people over the last few days, and we figured we needed to put out a video of how to use <laughs> Chalk Couture transfers, slash stencils, paste, boards, all of the things. So we are going to bring you just kind of a like literal step by step. This is your first time run through. We'll go through a project first time and you can see exactly how it works. Switch over and we'll show you how it works. Yeah. Alrighty, so one of the first things you're going to do when you get your shiny new Chalk Couture back to the house after you get it out of the package, <laughs> is actually take the transfer right off the backer. So this is your backer paper. This is the transfer itself. Now, the back of these, if you have seen or haven't seen, are actually sticky. So what you wanna do is place it on your fuzzing cloth or a hand towel if, that's, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, your wife's shirt works as well. And what you wanna do is just press it onto there and actually peel it off about five times or so. And what that does is transfers a little bit of the sticky, or the fuzz, excuse me, to the sticky. So that way it doesn't stick too hard to your surface. Yeah, and if it sticks too hard, what can happen is it might stretch your transfer when you go to pull it off. So your design will be a smidge wonky. Still totally usable, just a little wonky. And this one's been used many times, so she doesn't need quite so much because. fuzz. I'm going to let you put it on there because okay. I never seem to get it straight. So I do want you to notice, before I forget to tell you, see the backing paper? This side is super glossy. This side is not. When you go to clean this later, I know I'm totally skipping ahead, but I will forget to tell you. When you go to clean it, your transfer goes back on the super glossy side. Sticky side of the transfer to the glossy side of the backer. Right. For the same reason that we fuzz, so it comes off again. Okay. okay. Place your transfer. All right. So this is an 8.5 by 11 size transfer. Also known as a B size, but that's a weird term. So <laughs> 8.5 by 11. Yeah. This size is great for beginners. You get a good bang for your buck on it. You get a good volume a lot of different stuff you can do with it yep. but it's still manageable it's not too big so the sticky gets stuck all over precisely if you do end up um ordering a larger transfer and are looking for that information the husband will pop it up now <laughs> we do have a video on that too of course so because this has a sticky to it i kind of just laid it down nice and gently if you don't like where it went down or there's a bubble or anything you can peel it back up and put it down and it'll be okay so when you put it down, you want to run your hands all along the surface and make sure to get any air bubbles out. You will feel them. If you get an air bubble, you'll be able to feel it. And then a lot of times you can just work it right to the edge. If there's a bubble over in the teal bit, don't worry about it. That part is fine. What we don't want bubbles is in the open silk screen. Okay, so you got it on now. It's all stuck down. It's not going to go anywhere. Now's the fun part. We always feel the need to like just rub it a Touch little bit it, yeah. just to make sure. It's down. We just did. Just did it. <laughs> well, you got to rub it. <laughs> You'll do it too. It's okay. Uh, okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to do this white. Now I had a plan. This is going to change because now it's her turn. White. Yeah. Red. No. No. What are you going to do? We're going to do white. Okay. Red. Uh-huh. Red. Okay. Gold. Whoa. Do it to it then. And then we're going to go a little rogue. You're going to do Rudolph? Yeah. I knew you were going to do Rudolph. <laughs> You're such a goofball. All right. So this is the magic of Chalk Couture. This is the true magic. This is Chalkology Paste. Ignore the fact that this lid is purple and yours might not be. Um, COVID supply chain issues. We couldn't <laughs> get purple ones. So comes in, this is not orange, I promise. It just looks like it. Mm -hmm. uh, comes in a three ounce jar. This jar will last you a very long time and you'll see why in a second. So you also might have got a paste single, they call them. It's not a single, you can get many uses out of them. And if you happen to notice, this is actually the Club Couture, which is a monthly subscription program, info below. But if you get that, you'll be getting singles with that as well. It's the same pace, same idea. Just put it in a little tray and do the same exact thing we're going to do. Little tray, paper plate, palette pack from um, 
One of those stories Dollar there. Tree. <laughs> yeah, like any of that. Um, so, yeah, if you get through your project and you absolutely love it, I would suggest checking out Club Couture. Um, and then, of course, you have your squeegee. Depending on what you got either from us or from the website, this one is a mini. This one is a small. I know, it's kind of a weird naming system. <laughs> but there is one bigger than this. You don't need to look at that yet. It's a monster. <laughs> so, if you got a Try Me kit or a bundle from us, from a, a craft show, or just from online, you will have this size. These are very, very versatile. Mm -hmm. um, they are not available for individual sale on our website, so you would probably have ended up with this if you just placed an order, which is also still a great size. And I'm actually gonna use both of them because they have good purposes. So you literally are going to just goober in there and you don't need too much. You don't need half the jar? No, you don't. I mean, you can use it. You just got to be a little careful. And honestly, we scrape it all back up anyway. So yeah. if you have a little extra on your squeegee, it's okay. We scrape it off and put it back in the jar. Yep. So you, the easiest way to hold a squeegee, and this is what I tell um, Candace's daughter, put your thumb on the circle, <laughs> your two fingers in behind, and then just push. You use these two fingers on the back to apply pressure and just kind of push it down. I know you're probably all adults and know how to use a squeegee. <laughs> say, but it sounds technical. It's really not. Yeah. I just mean, try it. These hands can do it. So The only reason I mentioned the, put your thumb on the circle is because it is angled, which you probably can't tell now. But there's a bit of an angle. So there is. You can see the um, angle when it's not used. Yeah. So you see all of the paste that I used. And we're going to scrape up all the extra and put it back in the jar because remember I said you, these jars go forever. So you're going to pull up as much paste as you can and you should be able to see the design underneath. You can read the letters or whatever the design is. Yep. Straight through. Okay. Yeah. Now. Now I'm going to do the reindeer. You're going to do reindeer. Okay. Yep. This guy here, you may find at some point you need something with a little more detail to it. This is the multi-tool. This end is great for getting into the jars. And that was almost timed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for getting into the jars and scraping out every last bit of paste. It gets right around those edges and gets it all out. And then this end is, you use it just like a pencil, which is exactly what I'm going to do with our shimmer gold. So the shimmers have a little bit of a different texture to them. They're kind of grainy, but we just mush it. <laughs> and a lot of times with the shimmers too, if you go through and do your first coat, then as you're going, you'll see she'll go back over and do it again because the shimmers have almost, and it doesn't it's sound really, really right. fine gl glitter. Glitter, exactly. And so you want to push that glitter through the screening. Right. So just a couple coats. Yep. We'll still pull up enough so that it, you can still see the design underneath, yep. but we're just putting it on so that it mushes in. Because that is totally the technical term. <laughs> Mush it in. And you might be able to see, I got a little of the gold on the red, but it's not in the letters, so it's A-OK. -okay. And you know what? Even if it is in the letters, who cares? Because that one almost was. I was going to say, Jeez. you don't need to show them that much. I was going to say, we don't need to demo everything. <laughs> <laughs> there. OK. Scrape it off like we did in the red? Yep. Put it all right back in the jar. Well, obviously not all of it, but most of it. All right. A little bit of white? I went a little fancier than just white. Oh. oh. I used the Shimmer Frost. Another shiny one. Somebody in shiny things. I, yeah. <laughs> it's totally you, not me. <laughs> See, and this is why I like the big squeegee. You can just... When you're working with big, wide open areas, you can really make, make some progress. Yeah. You can do a lot of chalking. Oh, you know what we should have did? What's that? Put a little bit of red in there. Still can. Still Use your... can. All right, we're going to show you a little bit of level like 1.5 chalking. <laughs> this is a really... But it's finger painting. So, I mean, yeah. you really can't go to 1.5. 1, 1.2. <laughs> like, it's not technical. You're literally taking your finger and just smishing around. So what this is, we're going to do a little ombre, and um, it's going to be 
super impressive. Mm -hmm. Like, you can do it, and it doesn't seem like you really did anything, and then your friends are going to go, whoa, how did you do that? And you're going to be like, well, I'm awesome. <laughs> so I left a lot of the white on. So you do end up losing a little bit of product doing this way, but it's worth it, I promise. So we're going to go back into the red, and I'm going to put a line of red right through here. Line of red. Now don't stick that back in your jar. It'll be contaminated. Right. And then finger painting. We are going to do this. Just literally swirl it in. Yep. And it may not look like much of a ombre right now. But once you um, pull it off and actually see underneath, I used too much red. See, guys, you don't have to be a professional to do this. <laughs> it's okay. You just wipe your finger off as you're going, and it'll actually change the color. So if you have too much red, pull the red off and then work the white into the red. Yeah, that's why I was starting in the center. Now I'm coming up. I'm trying to bring more white in. Okay, so chalking 1.2, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of videos on ombre, so. Yep. There All right. Go. So I'm just going to pull it quick. And I'm going to... Bleh. So, <laughs> FYI, this is washable. Because <laughs> you're not having a good time unless you're getting dirty chalking. Yeah. Okay, now you pull it. I found paste on my Cricut Easy Press today. <laughs> I, I, that shouldn't have happened. Okay. Uh, all right, so grab your two corners and pull straight. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, there it is. And there's your super cool ombre that was really easy and looks really complicated. That is Pinterest worthy if I ever saw. <laughs> so there, now you're done. You want to put your lids back on your jars. If you have um, the singles, you probably should have told you this. So a paste single actually does way more than one project. So squeeze out just a little bit and you can always pour, take more out, can't put it back in. Uh, so whatever's left over, just kind of fold the top down and seal it with like a chip clip. Just roll this yes. down and then clip it on the top. And if you have extra left in a little container, you can use some of that press and seal saran wrappy stuff, cover the technical terms, cover that over and it'll <laughs> stay good for a long time. Yeah. The other thing is, too, when you're going to wash this, just take your transfer over to the sink, plop it in the sink, and literally just wet it down. Use a soft cloth or mm -hmm. uh, a sponge if you have a sponge, or if you got a board eraser, use the board eraser. works really good on cleaning these off. Yeah. So the board erasers are I'm a chalk couture product. Okay. Um, the board erasers are a chalk couture product that's found in the accessories, along with all of the squeegees and different little little things. So there's your super cool, very easy, very simple walkthrough on your first chalk project. Mm -hmm. So trust me, you can do it. You know what the best thing is? If you mess it up, wash it off. Start yeah. over. Yep. Yeah. So wash it with just water. You're good to go. If you are interested in using our products on wood or metal or glass or anything, just reach out to us. We're more than happy to walk you through the steps on that. Bunch of tips and tricks and everything. And if this is not your first time chalking and we forgot some important tips... It happens. Throw them down below so everybody can figure them out together. So, awesome, guys. Thanks for coming to check it out. Good luck with your first project. And make sure you send us a picture on social media so we can see it. Yes, please.